feel the most when I'm alone I think of you cause when you're gone I remember the feelings They're hidden in the dark I never left my feelings show Hi, my name's Carol McBride and I'm a tiny home owner. I have loved tiny homes for many, many years and I think my life situation changed when my son died and then a divorce followed and it was just me. So I was excited to live tiny, I guess. I went to my first tiny house festival last uh, summer in San Jose just to walk through them and get a feel for them and they were awesome so I knew I had to have one. I like this lifestyle because it, it makes me get out into the world. It makes me get out and, and experience life much more, which is a great healing experience for me at this point in my life. It's just a wonderful life. I love my tiny. I'm very proud of it. It's smaller than a lot of the homes you see on the market, but I liked that concept. It's easy to pull. It's easy to keep clean. It's just adorable. It feels like a hug, a tiny hug. I love it. Welcome to Sparrow Cottage. This is the name, the Sparrow. So this is my living area, my living space. I really like the, the tall ceilings. It's kind of spacious. Gives a nice feel of spaciousness. My area where I can kick back, watch TV, listen to music, read. My dog also joins me. <laughs> She's got her own tiny space in this tiny house. Well, I like to watch TV in the evenings. I like to watch a good movie. So with like an Amazon Fire Stick hooked up, I can totally get all kinds of different movies. Lots of choices, I like that. The things I have on the shelf, it's, you know, small things. So everything is very special to me. I lost everything in the fire, so everything that I've collected here means a lot. And I like cute, so that's what you're looking at, is a lot of cute. <laughs> and the curtains open up all the way. This is a cool feature too. If you parked it somewhere where you had like a super great view, that would be a plus. That's in the future. I'll be buying some land somewhere, hopefully. But yeah, it's really sweet. I love it. Lots of storage down here. That was a good idea that they did. Um, I have lots of storage here and throughout. Lots of nice cabinets. They did a good job putting this together. And the big thing that I love is the mini split up above. It's the heat and the air. That thing can warm this house up in a second because it's tiny, but also the AC works really, really great. Um, low cost on electricity, that's it. We had one day, it was 80, that was awful. <laughs> so I ran it that afternoon and it took like 10 minutes and it was cold in here, it was awesome. Yeah, Oregon's weather is crazy, I love it. But um, that one day of 80 degrees, that, that was no good. Upstairs, that's my favorite. It's my loft, my sleeping area. And it's like a tree house. I'm the kid at heart, so I really enjoy going up there and spending time and, and reading, whatever. Um, of course, my dog can't join me, but it's probably a good thing. I have a washer and dryer back there, works great. I also installed an indoor clothesline. If I have a lot of stuff to dry, it works great. It's I love this way of living. It's cheap living and it's fun. So the ladder to my loft stores right here, easy. And it's made, it's very light and it's made strategically to fit. It kind of hooks up there. I don't, I'm not afraid at all to climb up and down it. I mean, I'm almost 60, so there are no problems there. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen area. Um, I have a little oven. It's a convection microwave combination, and I do use it. It took a day for me to learn how to operate it, but now it's it's great. I do use it a lot. The induction cook top is nice. So in the stainless steel sink, I love this, and it's really deep, so it works out. It's perfect. Um, I'm 
single so I don't have much washing to do I don't have a dishwasher I'm kind of old school anyway so that's okay <laughs> I have my little coffee area here with coffees and teas um, little trinkets I love picture of my mom and my son very special to me love this little window it's adorable it's kind of got a little country feel or a I don't know, beach cottage feel, and I love that. I did the curtains myself, made them and hung them there. It's just me, and the freezer worked great. Um, yeah, it's perfect. I probably go shopping like every like a, every couple weeks. For me, that works out great. Um, I'll go to the local farmer's market to get fresh stuff, of course, maybe like every Saturday, but it works great. I do. I cook every day just for me. And so this cooking space, it works for me. However, the prep area, I'll have to come over here <laughs> and do the prepping here. I have my cutting board and stuff. But again, for me, it's just one person in here. So it works out quite well. I thought about remodeling it a little bit. I think I would probably like stairs, but the the kitchen, the way it's set up right now, is great. It's good. I do think about customizing things a little bit differently for me. Like stairs, um, maybe putting a bathtub in the bathroom, because I miss that. The built-ins, they're cute, they're great, but I want more of a homey feel. So I was thinking about ripping this out. I used to be a carpenter, by the way in my early 20s, so I totally got this. I built my steps, by the way. Um, yeah, tear this out so I could put like a nice big tufted chair and an ottoman and over here I want to put an, a nice, like a cool dresser, like a vintage dresser. Get rid of this. I could find storage spaces. I just want to redo it, make it more homey. This is cute, but you know what it reminds me of is like RV still in a sense. You could totally rearrange any of these cabinets how you wanted to do it. And I own it, so I could do it. This used to be something I did just by itself, but I'm a miniature doll artist, so I have a nice following of people. She's not finished yet. She needs hair. <laughs> so I sculpt miniature things. I make miniature things because there's a lot of women out there who still play with dolls, so I'm their go-to gal when they want their little tiny dolls. So again, all of the supplies are kept up there. It's tiny, so it works. I can clear my computer away and break out my sewing machine and make, you know, repurposing clothes or maybe fixing something for somebody in the park. It just, this whole space is awesome. I love this. I have my computer set up so I can do work from that if I need to. I love plants, so it's a tiny space, and I put these lights up under here myself so I could have a little bit of life right there. I also put one here. It's cool because if you're out and about in the park or you come home late, <laughs> put this light up there, there. You can see it much better at nighttime, but it's cool. I like it, so that was easy. Thank God for Walmart. And this... You know what? I'm proud of this. This is a big deal when you're in a tiny home. You have a little washer dryer, and I'll tell you, the dryers take forever to dry something. So if you just put this up and you can hang it, I strung up a hook up there. So it hangs the length of the home pretty much. And within, I don't know, less than a day, they're dry. Also, another perk of this... Um, mini split and I just learned this a few months back you can turn it on and there's a setting that's turbo it will totally dry your clothes in an hour <laughs> so that was cool but that's important I like that feature there's plenty of space for my dog to have her water dish and stuff she has her own little space and although I have that mini split going on Sometimes when I'm sitting here working, my feet get cold. So I have this little heater that I plug in 
It's adorable. It's got fake flames in it. It's just, an, it's one of those cute things. I'm all about cute in the home. Anyway, there's that. It's electric throughout the park and we're metered so we get charged for our own usage. Mm -hmm. But with this home, the way it's built and with all of the appliances, it just, it's like so cost effective. And that little heater, when I don't use it very much to warm my feet, but it's, it doesn't cost anything hardly to run. That was like a perk. Didn't really have to have it. I mean, you could wear socks, but I love the look of it. So I got it. No, this home is built really efficient and I was really impressed with it. The heating system, the air system here, because it's small, it doesn't take much time for it to be on to heat up or cool down and my comfy tufted chair for working in and the windows they're so nice because they crank outward so you can totally catch the ocean breezes throughout the whole house so you rarely need to turn on the air conditioner anyway but I like that I have had <laughs> birds come in this side because I have a feeder out there. And again, living tiny just kind of brings you closer to nature in many ways. If I have people over, say we're cooking dinner and we're in and out, then I'll turn the lights on. But no, I really don't use them. I have little lamps up, up there on the loft beside the bed on either side. And I have a little lamp right there that works great. I like the ambiance. I don't care if it's bright, bright. I just like it with just a lamp or so. And if I'm working over here, of course I have these two lights and then my little work task light. So, no, I don't use the lights very much. And because this thing has so many windows, I mean, it's in the, in the summer, you don't really need it. It's light for till really late, so. My tiny bathroom. <laughs> um, I have a washer dryer right there that's awesome. I, I put, and I have a cabinet in the back of these clothes where I keep my soaps and stuff, but I installed this bar so I can hang my coats and jackets and sweaters there. Window is great. It's perfect. The shower is just, you know, it's like a regular shower and there's a vent in there so you don't steam your mirrors up in here. It's quite roomy actually. I have an on-demand hot water. And I would like to get a bigger one because I like to take a long shower and I have long hair and need to take a long shower. So I found out that you have to use the hot water while you can, then you step back and it's cold. So I would go with the, a larger on-demand heater. It's electric. There are some gals in the park that have propane on-demand. That's probably the best way to go rather than electric. Maybe I'll switch that over and down the road, but this is a cute bathroom again. I love cute. I love the cabinet, the overhead toilet cabinet, and I try to fix it up for me, for my style. So it's very cozy. It's a, a lot of room for one person. I think works out good. I do because I want it directly on me in the winter time. It's cold when you step out of the shower. The heater out there, it mostly, you know, it warms up out there and up in the loft. But when you step in here and you close the door, you're isolated from that heater. So I just bought this little one and it works great. I had the choice of going with a composting toilet. I probably wish that I had done that because I'd like to go off grid at some point on that land I'm going to buy myself. So I like to... I, I would say go with the composting toilet. Just gives you more options as far as where you want to put your tiny. And also maybe do solar. That's what I'm going to do also some sometime down the road. Just do solar so I can go off grid. That's my plan. But this is an adorable home. There were there's changes, yeah, that I would make a little bit like I told you about before, but other Oh, I know what I miss. I miss a tub. That's right. The shower's nice, but I like, you know, 
a nice hot bath, bubble bath once in a while. But this home is very roomy. The builder did a great job. And he's very attentive to any problems that I may have. So, and he lives all the way in Indiana. So he's, he's pretty top notch. Challenges in this bathroom, getting ready for work, as opposed to being in a larger home. Maybe space for, you know, more lotions or hair stuff or something. Although sometimes I gotta tell you, if you're in a hurry, you cannot be too fast in a tiny home because you bang your elbow or your knee or you gotta take it slow. So again, maybe a tiny house teaches you to take life a little bit slower because there's not, there's not a whole lot of forgiving space here. So other than that, I enjoy it. So there's these cool little notches right here. And it's totally sturdy and it's really comfy up here i have another little laptop i can watch movies up here i got my kindle this is a queen and it's an eight inch um, foam mattress it's really comfy ebay is awesome <laughs> um, this was another built-in and i really like it because I have a lot of things just tucked right in here close to me that mean a lot to me. Pictures from my son, a t-shirt from him, just uh, ashes from a, my previous golden retriever, just really special things. When you lose everything, you have a greater love for the smallest things. And I want them close by me, just like this tiny house. It's, it's like a hug again it's, it's awesome um the two under the day bed those two big drawers shoes and foldables and then i put in that big pantry i put um cl clothing to hang mm -hmm. bars <laughs> closet this is i feel like a kid when i come up here and it's just it's fun and i can hear the ocean all night long here in this park and I can lay here and look out and actually see the sun go down from this window. So it's very cool, I love it. And it's super comfy. Even though I live in a park with lots of others, when I come up here, it's just kind of this sense of privacy for me. Peace and privacy. Yes, I do have two LEDs right there. But again, I don't use those very much but they're super bright. I just like my little lamps. Homey, more homey with the lamps. When I first got the home, it, it was a little scary to me because I guess I didn't feel like I was agile enough, but after going up and down so many times, it's like now I don't even look where I put my foot. I just go down. <laughs> there is, like I said before, there's like, it's tiny, so you have to be slow. And I learned the hard way. I was decorating down below there and I lifted my head up and I cracked it right on the bottom of the, the cabinet there. Boy, that was bad. But after that, I learned my lesson. So I just go slow. But it's totally worth it having one, I own it outright. I mean, there's no more big house payments, you know, and no big yard to take care of. On the outside, I just have some plantings and pots. It's all like condensed, like a small footprint. Mm -hmm. So that means less stress on you. You don't have to worry about cleaning a big house or taking care of a big garden. It's just simple, simple life. And that's what I like for me right now. And plus, I live across the street from the ocean. <laughs> That's a big plus. But it's awesome. I like this way of life. And I guess with anything, I don't know why we think we need to keep doing things or improving things, but I love this house as it is. But if I could, you know, make a little change here and there, like the stairs or something, bathtub, those things would make me happy. They're not really big things. It can be done. But as it is right now, this is a perfect life. I think it would be for anyone in my shoes. Been through a lot of shit. I am a campfire survivor. I lost my son and my mom and so much loss. So.
So this is a great place to be and I'm so thankful for it. I have my new golden retriever. She's my fifth one. She'll be a year next month. My male golden retriever was 11 and we escaped the fire just barely the morning of November 8th. And all I could grab was him. I had other pets that I wasn't able to grab. You know, I had a flying squirrel. <laughs> had him for eight years. And a guinea pig and two finches, but all I had time to grab was my dog. And we made it out. And he died one month later exactly. So, in making this trip, I knew that I needed a companion and it had to be another golden retriever. So we are living the greatest life here and she's so happy herself. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful life here. It's a wonderful life in a tiny home. And if you ever have a chance to experience it, I would go for it. This is Freya. She'll be one, she's a golden retriever. She'll be one year tomorrow, uh, next month. She's a good, good girl and she loves the beach. She loves seafood because she eats all <laughs> All the stuff that seagulls don't take. She hasn't gotten sick yet. She's a good girl. She likes the Oregon life. All the hiking that we've done. All the lakes we've discovered. And she likes chasing seagulls. Because she's crazy. I love gardening. I always have. So I try to... <laughs> and I like pretty. <laughs> so I planted flowers and stuff here. I just come out every morning and I'll deadhead and... If they need water, I'll do that, but it, it adds to the outside of my home. It makes it, it's pretty, it makes it look nice. So I like that. And I built those steps, by the way, with my two hands, I built them and I was trying to go for the shabby chic look. So I don't know. We got this bee house, it's for mason bees. So one of my projects here in the future is to have a beehive and we're gonna do honey and stuff. So I'm gonna get that together, maybe in another month or so. I'm trying to track down a nice hive and I'm going to um, classes during the week in Newport. Everybody gets together and so I'm learning about how to care for them and be a beekeeper. That's also, cool. I'm getting um, a chicken coop in another week. I miss having chickens. So we're going to have those things way off in the field. It'll be like a community effort for fresh eggs. Yeah, this is because I go above and beyond collecting things. So <laughs> that's what this is for. I have my gardening supplies in there. Um, lawn chairs are in there. I have this little portable beach wagon where I can haul my ice chest and my lounge chairs and head down to the beach with it. That's a must also. Really, that's all the storage I need. This exterior is, it's, I don't know, it's different. There's a lot of it that's natural wood. Mine is like a regular house siding. I like it better because it doesn't stain some of the homes. Some people like the natural wood, but over time the rain, it kind of leaves stains on it. I like this better. And I think it will last longer. I don't know. Well, Brad, thank you for coming by and see visiting with me in my tiny house. I hope that I have shared things that might be important to some people about living tiny. I enjoy it. I love it. It's like a gypsy life, I guess. I have dreams about moving, you know, maybe on, but anyway, thank you. Also, I just want to say if anybody's interested in any miniature doll work, I have an Etsy shop. Um, you can type in Carol McBride and should, you should be able to find my Etsy shop. Um, if you have a chance, anyone, go to a tiny house festival, walk through them, get the feel of them, and you might enjoy it. Mm -hmm.